Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to talk to you just for a moment this evening because I have some very sad news for all of you. And I think sad news for our fellow citizens and people who love peace all over the world. And that is that Martin Luther King was shot and killed tonight in Memphis, Tennessee. Martin Luther King dedicated his life to love and to justice between fellow human beings. He died in the cause of that effort. In this difficult day and in this difficult time for the United States, it's perhaps well to ask, what kind of nation are we? And what direction do we want to move in? For those who are black, considering the evidence, evidently, there were whites who were responsible, you can be filled with bitterness and hatred and a desire for revenge. We can move in that direction as a country with greater polarization, black people amongst blacks and whites amongst whites filled with hatred for one another, or we can make an effort, as Martin Luther King did, to understand and to comprehend, to replace that violence, the stain of bloodshed across our land, with an effort to understand compassion and love. For those who are black, and you are tempted to be filled with hatred and mistrust and the injustice of such an action against all whites, I can only say I can feel in my own heart the same kind of feeling. I had a member of my family who was killed, but he was killed by a white man. But we have to make an effort in the United States. We have to make an effort to understand and to get beyond the rather difficult times. My favorite poet Aeschylus wrote, he wrote, even in sleep, pain which cannot forget falls drop by drop onto the, upon the heart until in our own desire, in our own despair, against our own will, comes wisdom from the awful grace of God. What we need in the United States is not division. What we need in the United States is not hatred. What we need in the United States is not violence and lawlessness. But it is love and wisdom, compassion for one another, and a feeling of justice towards those who still suffer within our country, whether they be white or whether they be black.